Hi guys. So today in North Carolina, it's really dark and just dreary, and it's really windy and really rainy. So yeah. Um, before I start anything, oh, this is Mr. Purple, my purple Christmas tree. Say hi, Mr. Purple. He's asleep right now. <laughs> okay. So, um, before I start anything, I have some exciting news. Um, I'm starting my holiday series, and I know it's kind of late into the year to be, to be starting this, but, oh well. Um, so the name of my holiday series is going to be, um, Happy Holidays, and I know it's not very original, but, oh well. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't think of anything better, so it's going to be called Happy Holidays. So, um, so basically how this is going to work is I'm going to record a video, um, every other day, and I'm going to upload it to YouTube, of course, and it's going to be, like, some fun little Christmas things and stuff like that. So, yeah, let's get started. Oh, wait, I haven't even told you what this video is going to be about. Um, this video is going to be a barely there holiday look. This is going to be, um, the perfect look for those who really want to get into the Christmas spirit, but don't really want that dramatic makeup. So, yeah, let's get started. So first, you would apply a primer, but I'm probably going to take this off at, right after this video. So... <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's apply foundation. I have not used this in a while, but I've talked about this a lot. It is the Max Factor Foundation, and you know how I said that it's like my all-time favorite, but um, I've I've tried other foundation foundations, and I just came back to this one, so, and you can't get this in stores anymore, you have to get it off the internet, so, yeah, let's get started, so, you're gonna start by applying this, and drawing it just on your face, and just, and just drawing it, and drawing and drawing. Okay, so once you're done drawing it, oh my gosh, where'd the cat go? Oh, oh. Where'd the cat go? Okay, I'll find it later. But then you want to take a foundation brush, I'm just using my e.l.f. one, and just start blending this in. Just brushing it on your face. And you really want to blend this in good because you really want to make this look natural because it's a little bit lighter. So we're just going to keep blending this. Okay. So. Once we have that, you just want to take just any old base brush and I'm using my elf total face <coughs> my elf total face brush and I'm just going to lightly sweep this it has something on my face. But um I'm just gonna lightly sweep this on my face. And I really recommend this foundation because it gives 
your skin a really flawless finish. Okay, now that we have that, we're going to apply blush. So, let's see. Wait a second, I can't find my blush. Okay. For blush, I'm going to be using my Ultimate Face Cosmetic Cream Blush. And this is in the shade Rose Petal. And just going to take this and get another little blush brush. And I'm going to make sure that all the stuff from the last time is off. Okay, so I'm just using my other face brush and I got this and I got this in a set at Forever Twenty One, which is really good. Okay. So I'm just gonna get my brush in here and just get that on my brush. And just lightly dust this on the apples of my cheeks. So that doesn't come out in good. And you just want to do this very, very lightly because this is supposed to be barely there. But as you can see, it like is so natural and pretty. So I'm just gonna do that to the other side of my face and on my face. So this is what the face is going to look like after that. Okay. So, now it's time for eyeshadow. And for eyeshadow, I'll be using my Coastal Sense 88 Original Palette. This is what I was using for my mirror. And you can get, you can purchase this at, wait a second, I'll show you the website here at www.coastalsense.com and this when I got it was only fifteen or sixteen dollars but that was like a limited edition um sale so now it went back to eighteen or nineteen dollars but it's still very low price and if you're unfamiliar with these palettes this is what they look like inside and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to select a light white color to start this off um, just to make the colors that I'm going to put on later pop more. So I'm just going to put this all over the lid and I want to blend this in really good because this is not a main color. So after you do that, that's what it looks like, and you want to blend that in really good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select, um, wait a second. Okay. Okay. I'm so sorry. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, sorry Mr. Purple, Claire's makeup book that I purchased at Claire's for $16. And I'm just going to select this green color here. That's a close up of it. Just that greenish color. And these colors are very good if you just want that natural look because they're not very pigmented. Okay. 
which in some cases is actually bad, but in this case it's not. So, blow that off. And I'm just going to apply this to the inner corner. So you're only applying that to the inner corner. Okay. So now what you're going to do is take a red color. Again, I'm using the makeup book and I'm using this red color up here. Oops. And I'm just taking that and applying that right to the middle, just right on the line. And only to that line. I'm just gonna get that off on my leg because I have nowhere else to get it off. So after we do that, what we're gonna do is we're going to lightly blend that in, but I'm not using the same brush. I'm using my big flat blending brush that I also got in the same set. As my Forever 21, um, what's it called? Blush brush. And I'm just blending this right in. And that's what it's going to look like afterwards. And then, once we do that, you're going to take your e.l.f. eyeshadow, um, brush again. But this time, I'm using my Hard Candy Duo. And this is in the shade Blind Date. So, and I'm just taking the silvery white color. And I'm just getting that all over the brush. And I'm applying that right to the crease. Right over there in the crease. And this makes it look more glittery and fun. Hi. <laughs> like I said, just right into the crease. And just blend it. And that's what it's going to look like then. And then. We're going to go back to our Coastal Sense 88 Original Palette, and I'm getting a gold metallic -y color right there. Ow! Right there. Right there. Okay. So just any gold metallic -y color, and I'm going to get that on my brush again. And I'm going to apply that right to the outer corner of that little thing that I made earlier. And this one's a little bit darker than the one that we applied to the crease. So, what we're going to do is we're going to apply it to the outer corner, and then we're also going to put it in our outer V. So, right into the outer V. So that's what it will look like then. And then when all that comes together, just take your same old brush again. And just take any chocolatey brown color. I know it doesn't really fit in with this look, but it will definitely deepen it up a little bit. So any chocolatey brown color will do. And we're just going to put that right in the outer V as well. And then we're just going to blend all of that in with the brown still on that um, 
on that brush and this will just deepen it up and make it look a little more natural. So <laughs> and now we're just going to apply our highlight, um, which is this light color right here in the very corner. And we're just going to take that on the same brush and applying that right under the brow bone as our highlight. Okay, so once you've um, applied your eyeshadow and all of that, I'm sorry about that, we're going to apply mascara. Um, I'm not going to put that on in front of me just because it takes a lot of work, but I would just be using my um, hard candy curl up and dye um, mascara, and this is green too, so be careful with it. And also, I would apply eyeliner to the lower waterline. So I would just be using my Sephora Jumbo Crayon in black. And as for lips, um, I would use my um, Maybelline lipstick in Peachy Scene. And that's just what it looks like. But I will put that on in front of you. And I'll just put two sweets on each lip. So that's what the whole look looks like, except I don't have mascara or eyeliner on. But that's okay. So guys, um, that's the end of this video. And, um, I'll be posting videos every other day for my Happy Holidays series. And, yeah, so keep a lookout for really fun things. Oh, and question of the day. Comment below and answer this question. Do you prefer makeup or nail, or nail polish as a gift for Christmas? So please comment below and answer that question. And, yeah, I'll talk to you people later. Bye.